Wagamama is the only restaurant that my whole entire family like. It is the one place that we can all agree on to go and eat, that we all like the food there. I feel like all of us could get anything on the menu. We all like all of the sides. We like the tori karaage, we like the goyoza, the edamame. Oh my gosh, stop, because it's getting me really hungry. The katsu curry is the general consensus of the favorite meal, but as I said, we would eat just about anything there. Never heard of, or you've never been to Wagamama, the katsu curry is basically chicken in breadcrumb fried, so you get breaded chicken and it is so good. And then with that, you get the katsu sauce, which is on top of it. Then the bed of rice is actually put on top of the katsu curry. My mama have their own way of making rice. They soak it for 30 minutes and then they let it drain in a colander for five minutes. They cook it in the special ratio of rice to water for 10 minutes with the lid on and then they turn it off but keep the rice in the pan and BAM! Wagamama rice. Then it has this little side salad at the end. Let's walk on. Sorry, that was a really bad dad joke, but let's crack on with the video. Shalom Jackie and welcome to today's video. So today's one I'm very excited about. I feel like, can you hear that talking? You definitely can. Today's video, we are gonna be recreating one of my family's favorite recipes. Now, obviously we're not going out to eat, things like that at the moment. And where I live, we don't have any delivery food places near us, but nothing. And my sister's all time favorite meal is chicken katsu curry from Wagamama. She doesn't reckon that I'm gonna be able to imitate the iconic meal. I actually have never had it. I'm always open to new things. And they basically shared their recipe online. And I think, what better thing to do for my fam? We did a three course meal the other week and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Had so much fun. So I was like, let's recreate the Wagamama. So I already started soaking the rice because they even have on there, they had their rice, how to cook their rice. Because I do feel like Wagamama just have a way with rice. And actually, one of my friends at, at a kitchen I used to work at, she used to work at Wagamama's and she said it is the most stressful job because everything is cooked from scratch, literally everything. Cook the rice. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to, we soak the rice and now we cook. Yeah, you literally just said that. And then leave the hid on, the lid. Not the hid, there is no such thing as a hid. I'm gonna put an apron on actually today. We're gonna to get fancy because... <laughs> Let's go ladies and gents, let's get cracking. You know what, I feel a bit stressed, actually. Is that gonna be big enough? We don't know. We don't know, we're all in this together. Oh, hear me, because I think I just smutted. There was already too much happening. Already? It's too much. Okay, the rice is on. We're about to get our onion and garlic cooking to make the katsu sauce. Great, I feel like this is gonna go really badly, but we can't, we can't go from the offset thinking that something's not gonna go right. We have to have positive thoughts from the start. So the oil was heating, pre-did the onion, ginger and garlic here, because I'm a professional. I think I just smotted. We let that cook, a cookie, a wookie. So just like that, just give it a little mix around. Bish bash bosh. Okay, whilst that's doing its thing. Oh, you can't see me. Wet lie, smells incredible. No, we don't lie here. No lying. We're a lie free zone. Where's the lid for the pan? My actual favourite meal at oh, I've all that mama's so bad I miss my mama. My actual favourite meal at Wagon Mama is the Yaki Soba. Guys, I'm editing this and I'm actually salivating at the thought of that Yaki Soba. I am drooling. I want it so badly. I miss it. I love it. You know what I was like? What are you gonna do? My isolation's over. Go and get myself some Wagamama. I need it. I need, and the free green tea that you get? Stop it. Stop it. And they have just posted the Akisoba recipe. So maybe, maybe I need to try it. Two teaspoons of turmeric. That's not, that's not two teaspoons. Be lovely. Do not worry. Really wasn't worrying. One, two. Why am I rushing? Don't rush. Tablespoon. Juan. Oh my gosh, that really got in my chest just then. Two tablespoons of plain. Did I really just miss the greatest opportunity of all to say, I love baking, working with flour and stuff. The best vine ever. Just like that. Simple. Oh my gosh, I'm a professional. Why are you running? I turned you down. Why are you just chilling? 
still. Keep your workstations clean and arms in. You know what? That is bubbling too much. It just does not affect. Stop opening it. I'm following the, I'm following the recipe to the tea. Okay, now we bring this to a simmer. It's smelling. I can confidently say with all my heart that it smells like curry. I can say that with confidence. I've got a whole lot of love and a whole lot of confidence. This gal full of love and confidence. Whoop. Soy sauce would be enough to keep Brian and Mama going for like a day. Maybe actually not even, okay. It really does look like katsu. I'm not even joking. It says you can sieve it if you want to. I don't want to waste all the onion and garlic I put in. Wow, that sauce was actually really easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this. I've got to taste it out now. It's got the chef's thing. Get a little spoony woo. Ready? Oh, blah. That does not taste like Katsu Pine. Full of love and confidence. That's so spicy. Should I sieve it? I'm going to sieve it just to make sure it's chef's kiss. And then if they want the onions on the side or something. You just gently want to zhuzh that around. It's not going down. We're not gently zhuzhing anymore. We're pushing with full force. We're pushing with love and confidence. There we go. Just took the little bit of love and confidence that we all know at this point. We have our sauce. Next thing, we're just going to do a quick operation tidy up. And then we can get on with the chicken. One eternity later. Back, we're clean. And I have my station for dipping. Ready to get them the chicken fry. I've already rolled them out. And I've bashed them down a little bit. Just because I feel like... Not because you feel like, because that's what the recipe told you to do. Also, the rice timer went off. Let's have a look. <laughs> Good. Chicken is kind of bad. Now I'm going to fry the chicken. I have never fried chicken before, and I always get a bit funny about cooking chicken. This is a modest place, as I said, we don't lie. This is key to a good workplace. And here at Wagga Mama, we like a good workplace. We go flour, fish, bash. Egg, fish, breadcrumb, bash, bosh. Now we just repeat. Now I'm gonna have to put some in the oven purely because our frying pan isn't big enough and we don't have enough room for that. I've never fried chicken before. I can't believe I'm doing this. Who do I think I am? Gordon Ramsay. Can you hear that? Popping and sizzling. That is beautiful. That is. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's so much fun. Who thought frying would be. I want to make donuts now. I've never made donuts at home. Maybe that can be our next. I can't believe I'm really doing this. Isn't it weird though for a Wagamama staff? This is just everyday stuff. This is what they do every day. I need to flip it, but my hands are all gross. Can I have a, a hand just quick from someone, please? Hello? Get her out there. Hello? Can you just turn these? My hands are all gross. I mean, it doesn't quite look like Wagamama's chicken though, does it? Then I'll be fine. Have my hands covered. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're rocking and rolling. Don't stop moving to the rhythm of the beat. Find it up while that's frying. We're going to put those puppies on a little oven tray. And we're going to go into the oven whilst I do the other ones just to crisp up. This guy's a slippery little sucker. Okay, so here we have the chicken frying, the katsu sauce, and the rice. Which is table right? You know how at Cat Mama they have the little mats that they write on? But our printer broke, which is so annoying because this would have been really effective. Um, and I need to get the chopsticks out because Ov's got to have a chopstick at Wagamama. Don't talk to me right now because I've totally forgotten about the little salad bit. We don't have any of the ingredients and I can't go to the shop of. So we're just going to have to do it without the little salad bit, but it's fine. So I've put this on a low heat to get hot. I've put this on a low heat, tidied up. Well, I've got to dry that. Um, and then the chicken is in here, just like crisping up a little bit, making sure it's all the same temperature, ready to go. And basically, I'm looking at images of chicken katsu curry, and they're all so different from Wakamama. Like, I think they must have changed their style of presenting. Does everyone want to come and sit up? <laughs> the printer ran out of ink. Okay, nice design with it. <laughs> We've got the chicken katsu curry or the chicken katsu curry. I'd like the chicken katsu curry, please. Okay. Number seven on the menu. Yep, yeah, and what would you like? Chicken katsu curry or chicken katsu curry? Oh, I would like the same as. Yeah, madam, what would you like? Chicken ramen, please. <laughs> oh, actually, no, I've had a change of heart. I think I'll go for the katsu curry. Oh, fantastic! And would anyone like one of our new special drinks Fresh that we've got? Juices. Okay. Oh no! It's okay. It's fine. You know, I saw you touch the radiator. Right? I don't know. We're gonna try and do. Daddy, is that one? 
<laughs> okay, we're going on with the katsu sauce now. It does not look like Wagamama's, but it is absolutely fine. It's the it love, does. love and confidence that we It does look like it. Ah! Oh, someone, mum, your mountain has fallen. Oh no, they're all collapsing. <laughs> Hang on. Bone apple teat. Yeah, so here we have, lovely. oh, it's really collapsing. It's fine. It's fine. Right. And um, we've even got the little chopsticks. And Father. The This is a bit spicier than Wagamama's. Right. I'm really disappointed. I'm not. It doesn't taste like Wagamama's. It's the, no. pow it's the curry powder. The sauce is thin. Yeah. Why, why is that then? I don't know. I follow the exact recipe. How weird, isn't it? Nice, that though. Exact Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I, I prefer, obviously, Wagamama's, but... It's supposed to have a side salad, but... Um, oh, yeah. The little look. ginger. Oh, no! But basically, they've given that recipe, but I forgot to ask Dad to get it. I'd like a side of goyoza and some curryage. Don't get okay. I think the chicken's Wait. quite nice. It's lovely. The whole deal's lovely. Yeah, it's very well, Grace. I'm really enjoying it. Very good, Grace. You can make that again. Top marks to the chef. Wagamama Yukov, serious competition. The general consensus is. It's not exactly like Wagamama's, a bit thinner. There is a different flavour to the sauce as well. It's to do with the curry powder. But it definitely needs that little side salad. It was good, I quite like the chicken. It's been fun though, do you like something like this? You are, spice up your little evening routine. Ciao. Anyone got anything to say? Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, not to me, to the gang. Peace out, punks. There it is.